None of you minded how President Trump responded. No. 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 I didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, he addressed the problem. I mean, let's face the reality. There are problems on both sides. Do you think that neo-Nazis and white supremacists are the same as those who are protesting them? I think it's ridiculous to have me choose between Hitler and Stalin, which is what I consider both groups are. And why are the people who turned out to protest Nazis, Not why all are of they it. Stalin to you? The Antifa group to me is totally a, a very Stalinish uh, kind of group. How so? If you're, if you're willing to set fires and burn places to the ground, that doesn't sound like a very peaceful group to me. But they didn't They're both the same evil. They didn't use those tactics in Charlottesville. Marcus. So then I blame the government. Why do you blame the governor or the government for a white supremacist mowing down a crowd of people and killing someone? Because they didn't protect the people that day. The people who were marching with the signs, do you see them as neo-Nazis and white supremacists? I mean, it hasn't been investigated, so we really don't know who was out there. But I'm telling you, I've seen videos of other people who were out there who were not neo-Nazis. You believe that there were very fine people protesting? Yes, I do. How do you know that? I'm only telling you from videos that I've seen. That people but what's the source of your videos? Where are you seeing Facebook. them? Facebook. And, and when I tried to repost those videos, they wouldn't allow me. Is it possible they're not credible? Could be. But like I said, they need to investigate and find out exactly what was going on out there. Vice did an investigation of the people who went there with a purpose to march for neo-Nazis. So let me just play a clip. So blood and soil was a Nazi slogan, and you heard them saying Jews will not replace us. Is it possible that very fine people were in that crowd? Not in that crew. Nope. But those very, those, those crazy, I don't know what else to call them. I'm not, I probably can't say it on TV. But they still had the right to say those crazy things. That's the night before the clash happened. The Antifa people, the protesters, they didn't show up Friday night. They showed up Saturday. These protesters showed up the second day. They came there to do battle with them. They showed up with helmets, body armor, clubs. They showed up with balloons filled with urine. Yeah, and, these guys, with and these guys showed up with um, semi-automatic weapons. <clears throat> and that's yeah. state of Virginia, open carry is legal. You can Understood. walk down but the again, street. It seems to me that you're giving these guys a green light. The white no. supremacist. No, 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 not at all. Why do you seem more angry at Antifa than at the neo-Nazis in the world? I'm not more angry. It's equal. The media is not covering it. They're only focused on making neo-Nazis and white supremacists out to be Trump supporters, and they're the issue of the problem. The reality is of what Trump said is there were two sides. There are two parties that participated. He said there was trouble on both sides. Was there not trouble on both sides? Because I saw bets on both sides. And I'm sure you've heard the argument. There was violence on both sides of World War II also. Yes. But we were on the right side. Yes. There was but a right side and a wrong side. No, not so in this case. If there were some people in Antifa, okay. But most of them were students, including Heather Heyer, who was killed. So yes. why so aren't you? She got killed because they didn't protect her. Who killed her? Um, to, to be honest with you, I don't know because it hasn't been investigated yet. We haven't heard but, but we anything. But we know who the suspect is. Listen, I, don't... I don't trust anything that the news media says anymore. And, if, and the fact of the matter is we haven't heard from this young man. Like, when I first heard this, me, myself, I'm going to tell you what, I, I, some stuff ran through my mind. I'm like, maybe he had a panic attack. Why are you giving him a pass? A I'm not white... giving him a pass. But, but why no, are you thinking that the white supremacist might have had a panic attack? How can he be a premises of anything and he's 20 years old he's we being bad he's still a in roof we he, saw this with other young white men they're being led are white by supremacists. they're being led by uh, devil i You're, think we're moving kind of further away from the point of the, yeah. this conversation should be what happened that day was a tragedy and it should never have happened to begin with no one here is supporting the neo-nazis or the white supremacists and that narrative is really negative but what we are talking about is president trump's response and he stood in front of america and he condemned the violence that occurred that day you're talking about three or four hundred people in short there's, Meaning the neo Nazis. Yeah. There's 60 million people voted for President Trump. Mm -hmm. Why don't we get our say? Those people aren't nothing. Y'all, Democrats have idiots, Republicans have idiots. Yeah. But we're talking about us, the 60 million that's for Trump. We don't do stuff like that. Why isn't it the easiest thing in the world for the president to say, 
Neo Nazis have no place in this country. He did. He did. He did. He did. He said it Monday. He didn't know the facts. He didn't know the facts. He didn't know the just came out on TV. It just happened. I think a great portion of it is a conspiracy. I think it was a setup. You, from whom? You, from whom? I think people who want to derail our president. And there were buses coming in with lots of young people. And protesters. Off protesters coming off the same bus were some wearing Black Lives Matter and some wearing the KKK shirts. They were brought in to cause a controversy, right? Where are you getting your evidence? Uh, a lot of it on Facebook. You saw something on Facebook. Yes. 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 The protesters, the Antifa people, had an ad on Craigslist recruiting people for $25 an hour to show up for the protest in Charlottesville. Uh-huh. It's all over the place. You can read the ad. And you trust yes. Facebook more than news organizations. Oh, yeah. I trust yeah. Facebook. Live video friends. from yes, people who shot yes, it that were present. Yeah. You trust your Facebook feed even though you don't know the origin or no, the source. No, the people of these are our things. friends. Even though you can't tell me the source of these videos. <laughs> Pull the them up off of the Facebook and you see 30 powerful. people the same you. video. Okay, let, yeah. me do, let me see this. So show me what you found on your phone, oh, the, the video. I just, deleted it off, I'm sorry. There's thought, videos on YouTube that are on Facebook. There are videos that if you just Google Charlotte, Prost, Charlotte Virginia Prost. protesters' videos, they start they all start popping up into the feed on yeah, Facebook. Somebody. I also have a young man who said that they saw these people, the six buses lined up, someone that lives in Charlottesville, that the six buses were lined up and people were getting off the bus with KKK shirts on and, and BLM shirts. At this. I'm like, what? Now, same buses. That, while same that may buses. not sound credible, yeah, while that may not sound credible to a lot of people, to us who don't trust the news media, that could be very credible. Well, 